Here's a detailed review of the Boat Rocker 650 after 30 days of use. Let's find out if the Rocker 650 is a worthy contender to be crowned the best Bluetooth headphone under 1500 rupees. Hi guys, I'm Mariam, and on this channel, you'll find reviews of daily tech products every week. Let's get on with this one. Firstly, yes, these are on-ear headphones, so these sit atop your ears. And the build here is mostly plastic, except the extensions, which have a layer of metal. But the lock-in mechanism of the extensions isn't sturdy. I mean, the extensions move in and out easily. The headrest portion is entirely made up of soft faux leather material and provides a comfortable fit. The ear cups have plastic on the outer end and soft faux leather on the inner side. The left ear cup has a USB-C port for charging and the right ear cup houses the power button, volume buttons, an LED indicator, a mic and the EQ button. I'll go into what the EQ button does further into the video. One major con I would say with these headphones is that they don't have aux support. But these are highly portable. You can fold the headphones in multiple ways and it makes it easier to fit them in your bag. You also have three color options for the Rockers 650. There's green, red and black. The Rockers 650 are an extremely comfortable pair of headphones to wear for long hours. Since the materials used here are lightweight, you don't feel any heft while wearing them. Once locked in place, they don't move around. There have been many instances where I've had these on for hours without even realizing that I'm wearing them. Which is a feat for on-ear headphones. And we have the standard Bluetooth 5 version here, which provides quick pairing and stable connectivity. You also have the option of dual pairing here to switch between your phone and laptop, at least according to the manual that Boat provides with the product. But dual pairing doesn't quite work with my unit. I've tried reconnecting the headphones with my phone and my laptop, but dual pairing refuses to work. So I would say that's not a good look for Boat here. Now that said, I would say one of the most impressive features of this headphone is the wear detection feature. You can simply swivel the ear cup in order to pause the video or song playing on your connected device and then wear it back to resume. This also works if you take the headphone off and put it down on the table. It's a super handy feature and I'm glad it's just not a gimmick. With 40mm audio drivers, the Rockers 650 produce very bass heavy sound. If you're a bass head, then you're in for a treat. The bass here is deep and punchy. But if you're not a bass head like me, then don't worry. Boat has provided a dedicated EQ button here to toggle between two modes. One is the default signature sound mode, which provides the deep and thumping bass. And the other is balanced mode, which is ideal for listening to podcasts or audiobooks. Although the balance mode does reduce the intensity of bass, it doesn't drown it out completely. So you're going to experience a muddy bass on balanced mode which isn't great and will deter you from switching modes. And in my opinion, that defeats the purpose of having two modes on a headphone. But in my hour-long podcast sessions, I've appreciated the balance mode as it does enhance the vocals. So I'll say it's great for you if you're a bass head. If not, then it's not a pleasurable music listening experience on either mode. The mic on the Rocker 650 is decent for phone calls. It's a pretty standard affair for sub 1500 rupees wireless headphones. But I'll leave a mic test here for you guys to judge it for yourselves. Here's a mic test of the Boat Rocker 650 headphones. It'll give you a good idea of what you might sound like to callers or if you were using these headphones to record voice notes. The buttons on the Rocker 650 are clicky and have good travel. I've had no issues with them so far and the blind reach of the buttons is pretty good as well. And in case you're interested, I'll leave a screenshot of the button functions right here. Feel free to pause the video to go through them. With a mammoth 1000 mAh battery, you can get a playback time of 60 hours on a single charge with the Rocker 650. And I am supremely impressed with the endurance of these headphones. If you're someone who needs a pair of wireless headphones for online classes and for meetings, the Rocker 650 will get you through the day easily. In fact, you'll only have to charge these headphones after four days of use. And if you keep the volume down to 50 to 60%, you can get even more battery life, which is pretty insane. 
Also, it takes around 40 minutes to charge these from 0 to 100. But if you're in a hurry, then just charge these for 10 minutes and get a playback time of 8 hours thanks to its fast charging capability. All in all, this headphone is a battery beast. The price of the Rocker 650 fluctuates between 1300 rupees and 1500 rupees depending upon the sales and offers going on on either Flipkart or Boat's own website. So keeping this in mind, if you're a bass head and want a pair of headphones which provide deep thumping bass, a comfortable fit, good portability and excellent battery life, then you should definitely go in for these. Also, if you're someone who needs a pair of wireless headphones for online classes or meetings, which are comfortable to wear for long hours, have good mic quality and provide excellent battery life, then you'll be happy with these. The only con is that you can't use these with an aux cable. But if you're okay with that sacrifice, then this is a great option under 1500 rupees. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, you can watch the review of the Boat Rockers 550 for comparison right here. Do check it out and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.